the summer like day. We have temperatures getting well into the 70s here as of 11 o'clock and even some spots getting into the 80s like Poplar Grove, Sycamore and DeKalb, Sublette, Dixon and Sterling all reaching the 80 degree mark at this hour and undoubtedly temperatures continuing to climb. We're already above our average highs for this time of year in the mid 70s. We'll be getting into the middle and upper 80s later on this afternoon with plenty of sunshine, just some upper level clouds that we'll have to contend with with another sign of the times. Sunset now right at seven o'clock. So we're going to be seeing that sun setting before seven o'clock from here on on out, even though those temperatures feel like we're in the middle of July, but it's also been a very dry start to the month. In fact, we've only had a trace of rainfall since the start of the month, and this is tied for our driest start to September in 65 years since 1959. But thankfully, as we look towards the extended forecast, we do have some rain chances on the way. It comes with this storm system spinning up over the northern plains in Montana, then this trailing cold front here that does have some showers and thunderstorms that will be developed ahead of it. Now it's going to take a while for it to get here. So we do stay dry today and dry for most of tomorrow. But after that, that's when we could start to see high pressure finally getting pushed out and that low pressure system bringing in some more unsettled weather. So future track showing that cold front reaching central Iowa here by tomorrow evening and then showers and thunderstorms developing along and ahead of it. However, that front is going to be weakening and essentially falling apart by the time it gets here. So rain chances fairly slim, but still where we are expecting now some showers and maybe some rumbles of thunder late tomorrow night, very early into Friday morning. However, most of Friday during the daytime does look dry as that as that push of moisture does move off to our east. So it does look like Friday evening. So just in time for our high school football games looking dry. But then our next push of rain may come over the weekend with another low pressure system and another front coming through. That does look to bring some bigger changes into next week. So rain chances are back by tomorrow night. Better chances early next week. So latter half of the weekend into early next week. But then into next week, temperatures will be transitioning back to fall like levels. So the warm weather fans, make sure to enjoy this nice and hot weather as we have it over the next couple of days. Tonight, we do cool off a little bit down to the middle 50s for lows with only a few clouds. Then tomorrow may tie for our warmest day of the, of the month at 89 degrees again with plenty of sunshine. Then that overnight chance for rain comes in, increasing clouds into the weekend as temperatures slowly start to trail off. And then there are those better rain chances and potential storms early into next week. In any most accurate 10 day forecast, we finally transition from a solid July stretch of weather to a solid September stretch of weather with highs in the 70s for most, if not all of the last week of September, Manny.